Welcome back to Marwell Manor Farm for episode 4 with me, Mr. Sealy P. So as you've just seen, I just did a contract on Field 3. Field 3 is owned by Battersby Farms um, and they messaged me a couple of days ago to ask for help. Uh, they said they were stretched thin and they needed help with harvesting before the season was up. Um, could I go and harvest their soybeans on Field 3 um, and if I did I could share in using the field so if they don't have a crop in it they're used not using it it's fallow whatever you know um i could use the field if i wanted to and i could keep a percentage of the soybean however i got so snowed under doing all the jobs and prepping the fields and doing the bales and all the other stuff i missed it i didn't do the harvest and didn't get it done for them so i did the contract over on field three and put potatoes in it which was the next crop going in so for battersby farms have just put um, potatoes into their field um, I will be helping them with the harvest on that when that comes around again so I apologize Battersby Farms but we will get there um, I just wasn't quick enough off the mark to help with the soybean harvest I do need to do some repair work on this this is going to be pricey 974 that's got to be done I haven't got a lot of choice really um, so there we go right so a couple of contracts you know we're, we're getting their contracts and, and subscriber contracts what I do need to do now is go and take the barley to Greendale stores um, for Young Farms, for Forever Young. That's going to be done first. Um, then I'm going to go to the other farm, Southview's farm, and we're going to get rid of those bales. And we're going to see where we stand financially. We need to get seed in the seeder and get seeding on field 18 and field 15, our own fields. Um, well, that's repaired anyway. That wasn't cheap. Right, uh, what do I want? We go and grab this. Plus, I said as well, I've got the extra crops in storage that I haven't haven't even begun to look at. Where's put the weight for this? Oh, it's over there. I knew I, t I had a weight and I took it off. I could probably do with taking the rear the wheel weights off this as well. But for the moment, it's fine. I'm putting the front weight on this because it seemed a little bit floaty when I was when I had a full load in that trailer the other day. It just seemed a little bit all over the place. Right, so while I'm driving up to get that, um, a, oh, it's over there. Um, a big thank you, shout out to Jonathan. Thank you very much for your generosity. It's incredibly kind of you. I do appreciate it massively. Um, so thank you, Jonathan. Very kind of you indeed. You know who you are. So let's look at this up. So what I need is barley. 
And well, this is going to have to be filled first because I've got to do 35,000 litres of this, haven't I? Uh, yeah. Uh, the sheep are going to be shipped. Um, Farmer Young said that they're going to go to the animal dealership. But if I'm lucky, I might be able to get the animal dealer to deliver them here to the farm. That will, will kind of help out. So this will be filled. 29,000 litres. I'm going to have to come back for another six, but that's not a problem. Um, so when I sell these at the store, the price will go up. Obviously, our money will go up. But that's not my money, because he's paying me in sheep. So what we will do then is... Um, let's close that. that money from the sale at Greendale stores is kind of a transfer so that will then go on to um, onto Young Farms so that will come off the balance again once it kind of goes on it's the only way to keep it kind of all fair and legit I'm going to take the shortcut around this way um, and then we'll uh, go out onto the main road from the main store and go from there. I've got Cadet Landscaping has messaged um, to say I did a lot of work with Cadet Mowing. Uh, they do Cadet Landscaping now. Um, there you go, there's the field, field three. Um, that's Battersby Farms field with potatoes in. Um, but what I'm going to do is, they say there isn't really a lot of landscaping work that needs doing at the moment, and I can't think of anything that I need doing at the moment. However, I might speak to them about getting um, a bit of tarmac put in around the back of the uh, customization point, the workshop point here, because it stops at the back there, and there's grass around the back of here. And I just thought maybe if we could get this levelled, and get it to run round because in some of the longer vehicles it's difficult to get in and out it might be easier just a bit of drive around the back so possibly there'll be some work for them there um, just I'm just trying to think I'm not trying to make work for them to do but I, I thought about that the other day and then within a day of me thinking that I got a message from uh, Cadet Landscaping saying is there anything you need and that kind of thing I've had a few people suggesting the same contracts and I have to go back and say to people I'm really sorry I've already got one for that um, and I've had a couple of contracts that I thought I'd saved, screenshotted and saved um, gone into my folder and can't find them and then can't remember whether they were given to me on YouTube or Facebook or Twitter or wherever they came from and I'm struggling to find them so there was a couple. I thought I had one from KJ Wiggums, but I might have been wrong. It's supposed to be a sunny day. It's only quarter past nine, to be fair, and it looks like it's a bit hazy over, over towards the east, so I suppose it will gradually improve once the sun burns off all the moisture in the air. Would be lovely. Let's open it up. Okay. I'll go and get the next six. It'll be six thereabouts because it's quite difficult to get it spot on out of that pipe. But I'll see you back here in a minute uh, with the other six. We'll get that dropped off. And that'll be the first of my contracts complete. Whilst I did get the barley done and I knew I had enough until I've actually kind of sent it off on its way and the farmer's going to receive it, I haven't actually technically completed it. Having it in storage doesn't count. So, uh, yeah. I've had um, an interesting development in that uh, on Twitter I have my account Mr Silly P's Beard has an account now nothing to do with me and the other day up pops a Twitter account for Farm Dog so Farm Dog's got his own account again not me nothing to do with me 
but Farm Dog now has his own Twitter account too. It's becoming a bit of an animal. Well, he's already an animal, but the whole Twitter thing. Very interesting. Anyway, I'll see you back there in a moment. Okay, so, it's got 6,206. A tiny little bit extra. But, like I say, not the end of the world. And that's that complete. That's the first of my contracts for young farms. I did say in the contract that I could uh, take delivery of one of the young farms um, hams. I didn't have a ham available in all stores. Um, was it a honey ham? I think it was a honey ham. So yeah, all good there. Uh, I suddenly remembered, I took the, the fence to be repaired. Um, I couldn't remember why. I mean, I had to have it repaired anyway, because it needs repaired doing on it. But I've, I took a contract on for cultivating field one, which is one of the fields, to be fair, I've done quite a bit on, actually. Um, we did some fertiliser on, on it. I've done a harvest on it. And now it needs cultivating. Um, that's why I, I thought I need to repair it, because I'm going to get the cultivator out and set that to work. Um, with a worker as part of a an in-game contract job to make us a little bit of extra money. It's, it only pays out about I think 3,800 or something like that. Not a huge amount of money, but it does pay out a little bit. So that's what I'm going to be doing too. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the bales at South Views Farm. So I'm going to go and get the uh, bale spike, put the weight on the back, as well as the the uh, wheel weights, and let's go and sell some of those at the barn. We'll see where that takes us. Uh, by the time I get to there, the money have gone back down to where it should be. Uh, we were on 32,000 and something. So we should be back down to there. And, uh, oh, busy stuff, busy stuff. I really do need to sort out a deal with Silas at the main store for, um, for seed purchasing. Because we're going to need a fair bit of it, I think. So we might have to do a bit of a deal so we can buy some in bulk. Um, see how that pans out because we don't have a seed refill point on here so pallets is going to be the way to go
Okay, now we're not going to make a huge amount of money on these. I don't think. I mean, I could be wrong. Um, I'm not going to be able to do that many at a time. Probably only. I could probably do eight if I come in from the side, actually. Depends how how much this will be able to lift. Telehandlers are normally pretty good at this, but I don't know whether this will have enough um, weight over the back axle. This may just tip up, but I'll, I'll do what I can do. Um, it's often you can come in from the side here. Do it this way instead, but I need to come up a bit, I think. There might be too many. Track the claws. Let me lift it. Okay, that's working. Drop that down. It's a lot of weight over that. Right, okay. Let's see if we can swing round into here. <laughs> so why is it not taking those bales? 300 and something per bale. It's alright. I say it's not going to be uh, it's not a gold mine. It's not like selling silage bales on easy economy and, you know, having an incredibly good price. But it's all money I'd, it would be wasted. If I didn't take that straw off the field... That's a, isn't it weird? That extra bale... And it just can't... Wow, how odd. Okay, right. So I'll end up then only doing it in... I'll only take eight or... Oh, I might be able to get away with. Uh, not eight, six rather than... I just picked up more than that. Okay, that's incredibly weird. Let's just keep it on the ground, shall we? I'll just drag them along. Right, okay. Four it is. That's all we're going to get away with. And I just hit the post as well. Okay. Unfortunately, the um, the Arcusin auto stack is just, I mean, you're talking inches too high. This gutter up here, well, this bar, it just touched it, so I couldn't actually back it in. It wouldn't allow me to. That's why I put more in front in the end. Okay, right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to carry on. I'll have to do four at a time this way instead then, rather than trying to do six, or it won't do eight. But that's all right. Let's get rid of these. Considering I think at one point we were down to about 9,000. Any money we can get is a bonus. Now I did think about bringing a trailer load of crop with me and just then going from here along to the store but I thought I'd just get this done first. At some point I'm going to knock one of these stacks over, aren't I? It's going to take me ages to clean up the mess. And if I do, it will all be off screen. Or on a blooper reel somewhere. <laughs> I don't want anyone to see. Right, okay. So, as I said a couple of minutes ago, I will continue, get the rest of these sold, 
I'll see when it's done. Um, the, as you've already seen, the vent now is working its way across field one, cultivating. At some point, we can expect a delivery of 15 sheep. Interesting, I did have a contract sent through and it was from the Chief Butler at Marwell Manor um, offering me a contract because they host parties at the Manor House and they need milk and eggs for that and I've got a few different contracts of milk and eggs split across all different uh, subscribers but saying that the Lord of the Manor is prepared to assist me by giving me some chickens and some cows so potentially that might not be a bad one i've also got i don't remember on lone oak i think i did it on lone oak i did didn't i um where cody um cody uh from oh mine's gone blank spring creek cattle company um in the real world um, gave me cows that I had to babysit, kind of cow sit, until they're ready to move on. I've been offered a similar contract. Um, would I or could I possibly house some cows? House some cows? Um, temporarily, I can have the milk, but they don't belong to me. And at some point, they'll have to go. Um, so that potentially, there's the, there's a few different cow contracts I've got coming in. So yeah. It gives a few different animals to be dealing with. Anyway, yes, so I'm, I'm really going to go this time. Promise. And there we have it. We made about 20 grand. We were on 32 something. Yeah. So uh, 52. 970. About 20 grand on straw bales. That's right. I've still got two full stacks in my um, in my barn. And uh, obviously then there's the, what, half those 50 um, straw bales that are at Rainbow Ridge stores. Um, as part of the contract for Taurus. Uh, I've got contracts for oats from, oh blimey, so many different people. John was one of the first ones to give me a contract. But yeah, we'll get onto those at some point. Um, right, I suppose what I've got to do now, I'm going to sell those spare crops, although the prices have all started to drop. Uh, I should have sold them when I said. And I did a few things overnight and uh, by the time it got to the morning, some of the prices have fallen. So maybe not the best time for selling some. The soybean price is pretty good, and that is falling. But it, you know, again, it's, it is what it is. Um, it's all surplus crop, so selling it's going to make me a bit of money. That's the main thing. Um, because I now need some better mowing equipment. Really, um, yeah, it's an interesting one. I've got a rear mower, and it's going to take me ages. But I need to mow and Ted to make hay. Then I'll need to release. I, I really did want to buy the, the mower, but I just haven't got the money. I can't afford to. Um, and then I can do the 50 hay bales that are required for the contract for Taurus. That will complete that contract. I have got some other contracts for hay bales. 
that other people have asked me for so I'll, I'll kind of work through what I can but I'm going to need grass for the sheep so the field 19 on the farm I need to get cutting some will be hay some will be grass I also need to get going on farmer Eric's reseeding on here it needs fertilizer so maybe fertilize it first um, now he did say to me that he would put 25,000 into my bank account to cover the cost of fertilizer and seed and it's like he said I'm doing him the favor the favor is doing the seeding doing the job but I shouldn't be out of pocket for the actual commodities the products required for doing that which is a fair point it's his field I'm, I'm helping him out because he's injured um, so yeah potentially that won't cost me anything for seed and fertilizing here but that needs to be kept separate from seed and fertilizer I'm actually kind of paying for so I don't know whether or not the best thing to do with that is going to be to do that as a whole separate job I'm not too sure and this is what I mean about subscriber contracts can get a little bit complicated trying to keep everything separate trying to manage everything um, and because people are offering various different ideas and contracts and payments and how they want to go about things it can get a little bit complicated every time I turn that corner I overcook it don't know why right let's get these bell spikes back how are we getting on now to here how is my worker progressing the cultivation oh not bad I do like these custom textures they're very very nice um, not bad at all not bad at all that should be almost finished actually what's that contract saying oh 69% not quite there uh, what we've got bailing no I'm not going to do bailing cultivating field 2 couple of transport jobs right let's get this back I also need to prepare because pretty soon the fence is going to be heading out and hopefully the baked beans going to be arriving we'll, we'll see on that fingers crossed and I'm on 2.7 hours with the uh, armor track as well so I've only got six hours on that so that's going to run out fairly soon but I am more I'm really torn on that all of my talk of how much I really enjoy using it and how cool it is um, oh dropped off the wrong thing that's what I'm going to drop off um, I have been made aware there's a new beastie in town something that I might be pleased to use there's a new uh, Deutzfahr Deutzfahr Clearview and I do like it um, so I don't know I'll speak to Silas actually at the store and see if we can work out a deal um, I'll give them the feedback they want on the armor track because I've really enjoyed using that but potentially take that back and I might buy rather than lease or do a deal on the armor track I might buy a Deutzfahr you know get one of those potentially um, so uh, what I'm going to do now then I, I do need seed um, yeah we need to sort out a deal on that I could get a seed I'm thinking of a seed silo putting in that we can just do it from here but it's not the cheapest way around it I think what I'm going to do now is sell those extra crops from there and I'll see you in a bit when that's done uh, we'll see what we're up to financially and uh, once that's empty because I don't want to just get rid of that that can go back that was just an interim solving a problem early on uh, yeah okay right I don't know why I got out of that because I still need to use it
I am edging away from field 19. Um, I've just been over it and fertilised it. And it's weird because on the, the standard maps, um, the Giants maps, I couldn't put fertiliser on grass if it was fully grown because once a crop is fully grown you can't do anything else with it. However, it let me on here. Someone commented, someone messaged a few people actually, said oh absolutely you can you know get over there and do it so i've done that what i've also done in between jobs uh the crops i don't need to sold i've kept the wheat because a big chunk of that is um farmer eric's um i've kept the rest of the barley because i might need barley for feed of uh chickens i think yes when we do those i'm going to keep some of that um but everything else is gone so we're up to 102,428 uh if we go into this one here no we were fine on the one we were on field 21 let's go back one go down we'll take off that take off that because it does need lime that's going to cost me a few quid so i have done one fertilizing pass on um field 21 for farmer eric um, so yeah, our field 19 is done. 18 we did and 15 we did earlier, but 19 is done. So I'm ready for doing grass work on there. It could do with the second spray to give me maximum yield, but at the moment that I'm happy with that. That's no problem at all. Um, so it's time for seeding. I need to get some seed in these fields. Um, bit of advice, and it's a, you know a couple of people have mentioned this to me. Um, Adrian did, and I can't remember someone else did, um, because they're big fields and often if you're not careful you can be seeding and if it takes a long time it goes over one um, growth period into another and that can often happen you get your field split part of it's grown part of it's not and then you have to wait at the end what you can do when you start doing your seeding is turn growth off if you wanted to you don't have to but it's one of those kind of little tips that actually really does help so if we go backwards that way uh, go all up to plant growth and you can turn it off do your seeding as long as you remember when you finish seeding to come back and put it on whatever you want it set on um because i've done it before on previous maps and fs17 and uh, forgot to put it back on and then like half a day passes and i'm thinking this is ridiculous the crop's not growing and then one of my eagle eyes subscribers will say yeah you, you turned the growth off like um oops right anyway what i'm going to do then I'm going to unload the fertiliser because I'm going to seed and fertilise. Seed and fertiliser. Seed and fertilise. Um, Silas has been in touch up at the store. He has a surplus of seed which has been delivered. Um, and he's prepared, very nicely, to do me a deal. Um, I'm going to get the seed at half price. So 450 for a 1,000 rather than 900. Which I am more than happy about, as you can imagine. Um, I'm going to need, though, oh, I imagine I might be right with fertiliser. I can't remember how much the Pronto holds. Um, so, anyway, I bought the cultivator and the fent off of field one from the contract I did. Um, I've bought it here next to, actually, I might as well do it while I'm here. My little toolbox, because it's going to need repairing. There you go. Need some work doing on it. You know, you get the odd things break and shear and just a bit of general greasing up and all that kind of stuff you know all that lovely stuff you need to do in your machinery so we're going to go and grab the seed i'm going to use the fent for doing the seeding i could use the massey um i've been using the massey quite a lot in all honesty on screen so i thought we'll use the fent make the most out of it before they take it um that should be being taken after lunch today um rmc are coming to collect and then hopefully we will be having the uh, baked bean delivered. I hope there's not too much of a gap between those two things happening, but we'll see. Potentially, but hopefully not. So, I'm not sure how much fertiliser this takes it. And then we'll get lime into the uh, spreader and we'll get um, field 21 for Farmer Eric limed. It's going to cost me a bit of money. But like I say, he might he might reimburse me. If he does, all, all well and good. We'll be fine with that. I was thinking I'd take 2,000 litres. That's alright. So let's do that because we've got it. Might as well. Then we'll head over to the store and we'll get the rest filled up. Let's close that. I need to put it onto Barney. Oh, I went past it there. Right, wheat, barley. 
oats. That's what I want it on. Not canola. So I'm doing field 18 oats. I'm doing field 15 wheat. I know we just did barley on that. But I've got a wheat contract for um, Gypsum's Bakery, which I want to get done nice and quick. Get that sorted. I don't want to keep him waiting. He did say to me that they're changing the name of the bakery in honour of me to Sealy Gypsum's or Gypsum Sealy. Yeah, Gypsum Sealy Bakery. <laughs> That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Anyway, imagine the real world, something being named after you. I know pl plenty of people have their own businesses and companies and whatnot, but I just think, wow. Got a bit of growth going on. Field three that I did over here. With potatoes, that's coming through. Need to fertilise that at some point too. And so, to my right, he's not joking about having a surplus. Um, so what we'll do is we'll load up, we'll work out how much we've had, and then we'll, uh, and we shall pay. That is a surplus. How would you order that much by mistake? That's one of those, oh, that's gone a little bit laggy, hasn't it? Um, that's one of those putting a zero on the order by mistake kind of things, isn't it? <laughs> and then looking at the order and going, what have I done? Well, this is only going to take about 3,000, isn't it? Oh, that's annoying. Oh, we backwards and forwards. Okay. Oh, it's not going to work. Okay, so 3,000. What's that going to cost me? 1,300 and something, isn't it? 1,350. 1,350. Oh, lovely. Okay, right, well. Let's get on with it. Needs doing. I was going to say thirteen fifty. That's what come off. Off our top line. Trouble is, there's always that kind of. I did it on. I can't remember which let's play I did it on. And I kind of thought. I think it might have been on Oakfield, and Barris was running the store, and I had a deal going. I also did on Lone Oak, and that was with who was it owned the farm? I think it was Farmer Min, wasn't it? Owned the store. Um, and I had like a discount card and I had discounts for different price ranges and I thought I'll do it on account, you know, I'll, I'll pay one big lump sum in a while and I kept forgetting how much I'd spent or used and it got a It got a little bit confusing to say the least. Let's open this bad boy up and let's get some oats in the ground. I should follow my own advice. Having just said that, let's go to that and put that off for the time being. Turn it on. Drop it down. And finally, <laughs> I feel the need. The need to seed. If you're young, you may not understand that reference. <sighs> finally. Finally, 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 we're getting something in the ground. I'm going to do a couple of runs around the edge. Then I'll do my usual. Get myself a rectangle the worker can deal with. And get the worker going on that. Don't know what other contracts, um, in-game contracts that is. I think I'm going to have to refer to them slightly differently. I've got subscriber contracts. But every time I say contracts, I don't want people getting confused between subscriber contracts and other. Um, so I don't know whether they can be... Um, We'll call them subscriber contracts and local contracts, I think, rather than in-game, because that's a bit, you know, Local contracts, we'll call them. For local people. Cruise control on. And away we go. Out of the blocks. This is going to take a while. No choice about it. Not too sure how heavy oats is on the seed. It doesn't seem too bad at the moment, actually. We might get away with not, not a huge amount. Fingers crossed. I don't know. We'll see how that pans out. Anywho. Oh, don't want to miss any. Maximum yield is what I'm going for. I think... I know there's been a lot of um, 
not blank bits, but bits where I've done work without me chatting. I know I often get people saying, oh no, I want, we want more chat. Other people then say, no, stop chatting, you're talking too much. <laughs> I do like chatting, but I do mix up my videos. Some videos are like all chat. Some videos I do like to get time lapses in. Some I get, you know, various different musical interludes in. And sometimes I just think the job needs to get done. I need to show it being done, but I don't need to be talking all the way through it. What happened there? Tank slapper. In. Right. So, yeah, we come to the end of this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. More to come. Plenty more to come. Um, if you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching. <laughs>